All right, so a fun little module here. I'm just gonna show you a few uh, random formatting tricks that may come in handy along the way. So one of the first ones is whenever I'm doing like an input. Uh, so let's say my, my variable equals the dog's name. Now, you can see a problem here, which is when I put my quotes around this, look at my colors. Are strange, right? Why is that? Um, well, it turns out that I've got three apostrophes in here. Um, that was supposed to be an actual apostrophe, um, but it's not. So how could I do that? Well, escape characters are your friends. Turns out if you just use the simple slash as an escape, it'll work. So now you can see that that shows up. If I hadn't put that in there, well, Things are a little weird, right? Doesn't, doesn't quite know what to do with it. There's this invalid syntax because it sees that. So that's a, that's a super easy one. Just, just throw in those and you'll find that that works. Um, let's say you've got this one. Uh, enter, enter, uh, enter the word stop. Well, that doesn't mean much, right? Enter the word stop. Okay, what, is that, what does that tell me? Under the end of the word stop, I don't know. Um, let's take, when I print it, it just says enter the word stop. Okay, do I enter the word and then stop? Am I entering the word stop? Well, in this case, yeah, I'm entering the word S-T-O-P. So I wanna put that in quotes. And again, same problem. If I put that in single quotes, uh, as you might imagine, it's not gonna know what to do with it. Right? So. Turns out that this is why I talk about sticking to things, you know, either double quotes or single quotes. I could do this one of two ways. I can double quote the outside and leave the inside on a single quote. All right? That works. It should work. Let me refresh this here. It will when I put my single quote at the end there. All right. I'm gonna, I can do this right. Single quote, colon, Double quote, double quote, double quote. I can do it. This is why <laughs> I try to stick to something. All right, enter the word and you can see it shows up in single quotes. Uh, the way you'll see me do it, again, not that there's any real preference in the world, um, but I, because I use singles all the time, I use doubles inside. I also think that makes things look a little more like what you'd expect. And again, you can see with singles and doubles, uh, let me refresh this. And so the word stop and the stop shows up in doubles. So that's one way to deal with that. All right, so here's another one. Let's say, let's track this over this way. I've got this really long message that I need to put in. Enter the word stop or enter some other word instead. All right, well, so if you submit that to me, you're gonna get in trouble, right? Because I don't like things that I have to scroll way back and forth for. Um, yes, maybe I'm working on my 4K screen at home. Maybe I'm working on my cell phone. Uh, so typically I like things to stay within 80 characters. 80 characters is an old standard, but it turns out it still works. Well, the problem is even though programs will let you get away with just hitting enter sometimes, sometimes they won't, as you can see in this case. So there's really a better way so that you know it always compiles correctly. Here's what I do. I take the whole thing And I put it in just a straight print statement. And I make sure that all that stuff's in there. Now, may, this syntactically will run now. The problem is, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but the problem is you can see I'm still running off, all right? So another way to deal with it is it turns out you can break your quotes anywhere. So I could just put another single quote here, put a comma, remember we use commas to say something else is coming. And now it'll ignore all that space in there. So I can go through this and make it nice and pretty. And you can see when it prints, it'll still print out as one, come on you, one single line. 
into the word stop or some other word instead. So you can see even though I put all that space in there, it doesn't show up over here. Um, because the comma, it's just going to ignore all this stuff in there. So that's how we can do it. Now, our input will still work. It's still waiting for us to put something in. It just didn't put that in the input. See? So that's a way that you can do that. All right, one last little trick. Sometimes we want to do something really specific. Uh, menus are a good example of this, where I really want it to look exactly the way I want it to look. So here's another trick. If I put three apostrophes, now I can do whatever I want. And in this case, it really can see the difference in those. So when I run that, yeah, I get this nice explicit, and of course, I could put spaces in there, and it will recognize those, and I can get this nice layout just the way I want it, um, and have things look the way I want them to look on the screen. So there's a few new tricks for you.